you may know you have raccoons in your attic because they're keeping you up all night long. You know, you may look onto your roof and see uh, one area on your roof uh, where there's no snow. You know, typically that could indicate that the raccoons have trampled down all the insulation. The insulation is virtually useless and the warmth from your, your house is escaping through the roof, melting the snow in that area. So as you're heating your home in the winter months, that heat escapes through those roof vents and that's like a magnet for raccoons uh, to come on your roof. They just easily rip up that roof vent. Bingo, they're right inside your attic space. Raccoons will come down chimneys. A lot of homeowners, uh, you know, cold winter night will have a fire and a raccoon out rummaging around in the middle of the night, he's gonna be attracted once again to that chimney because it's a heat source. He wants to survive. Raccoons will come and go in chimneys. They'll give birth right behind the damper on, on the smoke shelf. They're not true hibernators. They will slow down in the coldest of, of climates. Noises may decrease a little bit, but as we get into the spring season, they'll get more and more active. They start mating towards, well, sometimes the first, second week of January. We'll see baby raccoons, you know, sometimes the last week of February, mid-February, uh, but definitely in March, we're in baby raccoon season. So if you're having a problem with raccoons in the winter, act immediately before mating and birthing season. Mm -hmm.